Take two. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, a little hiccup there. Uh, yeah, hello. Welcome to take two. Oh, yeah, so I do this, like, vlog stuff in my car, which I haven't posted any of them yet, um, even though I've been doing it for, like, a year. Uh, I was going to start doing some of that over Thanksgiving, like, actually posting them, um, but ended up working most of Thanksgiving, so that didn't work out as expected. Uh, but each one of the, like, episodes, I start with, like, hello world, welcome to this episode of something random. Uh, maybe I should start doing that with these, too. Uh, welcome to this episode of Drafts with Alan. It's still kind of weird, but not as weird to get, like, around that performance kind of thing, right? So, welcome to whatever, blah, 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 blah. It's still a little weird. Anyways. Uh... Oh, so I know something I want to do. And there's my checklist, which I still have. One of these days, I'm going to remember to get rid of that. Uh, we can leave that there. That's all cool. Uh, actually, hang on one second. Boop. Uh, just need to close down a couple things here. Uh... Okay, hang on, sorry. I thought I was ready to go here, but clearly that is not the case. So we're just gonna bump around for a second and then go relook at stuff. Clearly my checklist did not work as well as expected. I think I just burned through it uh, kind of quickly uh, in a way that I should not have, so. Now I think I'm good to go. Um, nothing, whatever. It's just junk that isn't worth seeing. Um, this is all good. This is all good. This is irrelevant to what we're going to talk about. Um, so yeah, take three. Welcome to take three. Because you have that. Uh, so I know what I want to do. Twitter, Twitch. So this is just, I'm just messing around tonight. Um, how do you get notified when someone follows? How to set up Twitch alerts. I've clicked on this before, but streamer notification preferences. Notified on this. These are all like straight public things, right? Yeah. Tell my Twitch notifications as effective as possible. Made some changes, streaming notifications based on your activity or channel. See, so why are we updating? How are we updating stream preferences? Uh, settings. Okay, I'll look at this stuff offline. Um. Because it would be interesting to know when people follow, because that's happened a few times, and I don't see it right now. Um, and I would like to see it, so I could say, hey, thanks for the follow. Um, general, whatever services alert you to followers and other alerts should have a dashboard. Streamlabs, which has Streamlabs dashboard, are on the OBS. Message to pop up in your chat to thank a follower. In case you miss the on screen alert. Most bots like Nightbot, Streamlabs, have options somewhere that also bot to announce when someone follows your channel. Yeah, see, I want to also get something kind of like showing up on my machine or my screen or something so I can see it. Um, I kind of looked at that, but whatever. Um, so now to figure out what we're going to do. So I messed around last night with Tailwinds a little bit. Um, I need to see... Oh, one more time. I think these are all fine. Toolkit, send, Django Garden, Toolkit. Yeah, these are all fine. Uh, let me get back to the Toolkit. So I'm working on moving, making a little local Django site. And this is the site, uh, or this is the dev version of it. 
which right now is nothing. See, that's all it is. So I've got um, Tailwinds installed now. And it just has, it looks like it just has a basic reset going. Um, Tailwinds being this. Which I'll be honest, it took me a little while to figure out how to get to their actual like documentation. Not this, but like. I'm, and so the, the thing is, I'm not trying to install it across any of these things. I should probably play with some of these at some point. Um, I've got React on the list, but right now I'm just trying to make a Django app. And so I was like, I was trying to figure out like, how do you get Tailwinds just to install as a CSS file? Um, and that's not something straightforward for from this directions, but you can do it. Um, and there's a you know Stack Overflow answer to it. But what I was trying to find and what I still need to find is they had like a list. So it's it, so it's super neat that these examples are live and you can copy them and paste them. Um, and then what I found last night uh, that I lost. Where did I put it? It's probably in the Django thing, right? Template base theme. Django plus tail one equals love. Oh, okay. I didn't know that they actually, yeah, installed this. So let's see. Uh, let's just take this. Let's see, CSS static, CSS styles. Okay, yeah, it took me a little while to figure out how to get that in there. I, I missed this theme thing here. Um, templates base. I'm assuming it's okay to put load static as the second thing because I like having the doc type up first, even though it would still be the first line. Uh, yeah, it's all cool. Whatever, we'll do this. This, and then section, and let's put our content block here. It went blue over the side, all over the place. In black content. Uh, so let's see what happens now. Not a whole lot, but something. I don't think it's calling. No, it's not calling it. It's missing. Uh, if only I had actually remembered static CSS tailwind output. Okay, so let's change that to CSS or styles.css. And now what do we get? There we go. All right, so now I'm going to relearn how to do CSS. Um, so that H1, I'm actually kind of surprised. That didn't roll out. Whoops. To a thing. That's super weird. I would have expected that to come to its own line. Um, div container MX auto. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm just going to play around with Tailwind and try and figure stuff out. So, hooray. MX auto. How wide is that? 768. Okay, that's cool. Take that. That's the div. No, that's the section. 
Yeah, the div should be the full thing. I think. No, body, that's the full thing. Background, gray, lightest, font, serif, leading, normal, letting, leading, I don't know how to say it, tracking, normal. Container, MX Auto. Flex, item center, justify center, H screen. See, what I need from Tailwind is like the reference documentation. Craft the bike, creators of Tailwind, browser components. I think these are the ones I charge for. Google marketing. Yeah, so they're making like money off this, which is cool. Like that's how you should do things. Page header. See more page headings. So I got yesterday, I'm not sure what I did with it. I've just thrown it away. Um, I don't see it in there. Description lists. Avatar is multi line content. That's cool. Tailwind UI components. Okay, that's what that is. Somewhere there was Tailwind examples. Tailwind components, that was what I was looking for. Product detail page. So I should just get one or two of these and look at them. This is the one that I was looking at yesterday. Show code. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is what I looked at yesterday. So we're going to look at it again today. Because what I think I want to try and do. Uh, how do we get back to it? There we go. How do we view it? Wristwatch. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's its own thing down here. Yeah, and it scales. So like I've got the font size blown up dramatically right here for um, to make it easier to read on smaller screens when I'm coding. But so what I was thinking I would do I want to at least see how this goes, right? So, oh, I know what I should do is, I probably have done, this is, might be where it is, is Django Garden. Where do I want to put this? It's not really the Django Garden. Should I make a tailwind garden? I should probably make a tailwind garden. Uh, all right, we're just gonna do it. I don't know, I'm stuck in my head. Now we're gonna do it here right now. So, What are we doing? Um, we're going to make a new app. Manage.py, start app, tailwind, examples. 
Tailwind, Playground. Yeah, I like that. I like that. We're going to hang out with that. Static pages, links, JS tool chain. Yeah, so this is all Tailwind stuff that we're trying to get set up. Which really, all that was trying to do was get to the point where this file exists because it's just calling CSS. Like, that's all I'm doing in the Django stuff. So I can really delete all the rest of that junk, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, however, we can make a note about that. Notes. Try and make better notes. The JS tool chain. I'm going to drop the theme, though. Mm, no, I'm not. JS tool chain. And theme directories or installs from Tailwind. Uh, could be deleted if you get tired of them. Probably not, but like I, I go back and forth between not wanting to have stuff cluttered and not wanting to lose stuff. Like there's the tensions there. Um, I'm not going to talk about support scripts one way or the other. Either they'll show up or they won't. Main element is a Django site. Personal collection of tools. That's cool. We can leave that there. So Tailwind Playground. So we need to add that into our installed apps. Oops, that didn't work as expected. URLs. Tailwind Playground. Include Tailwind Playground URLs. We're going to go make Tailwind Playground URLs. From Django.urls, import path, import path. From dot import views, URL patterns equals. Uh, so, this, what we should do is. Path nothing equals views dot index. Go into views, make our index, index request, return, render, request. Tailwind Playground index HTML. Actually, we're going to put those on one line right now. Yeah, I don't need to pass context to that because it's just the page. But we do need to make that page. So, new directory, templates, inside templates, new directory, Tailwind Playground, inside that, new file, index HTML. I'm getting okay at this apps whoops not what i meant uh not really any models not really any tests not really any admin um
we will figure out in a minute how to uh what's my thing how to make multiple versions like call tailwind playground slash one and have it go to one.html um that'll be interesting thing to figure out I think I kind of know how to do that, but we'll figure that out. Um, first things first. Oops. Compiled. That worked. Day one playground. Hey, it worked. All right, so where was, see every now and then something collapses or does something there when I first move over to it. And I'm not sure what it is. Of course, I'm recording it so I could go back and look. Um, theme, no, template space. So we're just gonna drop this in as our index. That's all good, that's all good, that's all good. You per your IE tailwind skeleton. Tailwind playground. Description content keywords. Ah, been a bit. Style sheet, CSS styles. Okay. Wow, did you see that font change in there a second ago? That's kind of weird. So I don't know what MX means. Yeah, one playground here. Okay, yeah, so it's, okay, so I think it's um, some amount of padding, or like gives it a max, maybe? Oh, no, it bounces all the way there. See, that would be way too wide. Yeah, uh, so let's put in, so check this out. So LI is my Lorem Ipsum, which is really the Federalist Papers. Yeah, see, that's a little much. Wouldn't want that line length going if the Sony's browser really was that long. Um, I'm super tickled by the fact that uh, I'm using Federalist Papers for my Lorem Ipsum. My college professor buddy would be proud of me. I will have to let him know that that's what I'm doing. Uh, all right, Tailwind Playground. Okay, let's see how this stuff works. Um, so the first thing to do is figure out how to get URLs to show up. So nothing goes to index. And then path if you do int slash no int slash int see this is the thing about Django's they always want that slash at the end which always bugs me um Fuse dot page. So in our views, def page request. Ah, this is where we want 
I'm going to do ID instead of primary key here. Um, in all the Django database stuff, I'm using PK for primary key because ID... Actually, I'm not going to use ID here. Ah. How about underscore ID? There we go. Because um, ID shadows something. And I saw... So somebody was doing the advent of code today. Um, and I saw them do like with open, you know, sum.txt as, you know, I see so many people do file right here and that always freaks me out, but she did um, underscore file. And I was like, that's great because that's not conflicting, right? So I got, I'm trying to remember to do that for things. And like this ID is perfect. Um, but with the database stuff, I'm gonna use PK anyways, cause PK is the primary key. And that's like, I've seen people go back and forth on that and it's like, I don't really care, just pick one. Uh, and I'm gonna go with primary key. Um, and hopefully that won't, but yeah, cause it's actually great for this too. Cause this is an ID, it's not a primary key. Those are two separate things, potentially. The primary key is more specific to what the thing is. Yes, it's an ID, but as an ID, it's the primary key. Like that's the more granular, I guess. The, the more refined subspecies or something. Anyways, we got this. So let's see if we can at least hit that, which would be this. No. Oh, we got, wait. Current path didn't match any of those. Ah, there's a slash int. I gotcha. So let me look at the top level URLs. Yeah, see. So you can do this, I think. I think they just don't want you doing this because there may be like collisions. Why does Django use trailing slashes? Pending slashes and doesn't force it. Sub developer, you slash this or not. Search engine index or retreat them to separate URLs. So it's the best practice to normalize URLs. It's not required, Jared. It's just trying to help your SEO by suggesting a standard way of doing SELs. Uh, of URLs. SELs? One of Django's core design principles is URLs should be beautiful. Well, putting a slash at, them ain't, at the end of them ain't. So some URLs should be mapped as that. You can capture it using a regex. Here, the URL is pretty neat and user friendly. This will help index pages correctly. Now you can fit about canonical. Consider a view in a framework, which relatively resolves to about that HTML for a user at path users awesome user. Since users awesome user and users awesome user slash are different, if the user is at that, the browser resolve to use their slot about us because there ain't there ain't a trail and slash look at that use ain't i'm like part of me wants to fix that but i'm definitely gonna leave that in there because like ain't uh there ain't a trailing slash which we don't want if the user is at this the browser rolls off to the because there is a trailing slash yes Technically, foo.com slash bar and food bar are two different URLs. Yes. Search in robots and some web traffickers would treat them as separate pages. Yes. Django should make an effort to normalize so that search engines don't get confused. This is the reason behind the append slash setting. Force append slashes to URL. Oh, okay. Since Django observes both URLs is different, if you're caching the app, Django will keep two copies. You gotta have issues with HTTP methods other than get. If you don't append a slash to URL. If you ever plan to use, you're gotta, you gotta have issues. You're gonna maybe. This sounds like the way I talk. You're gonna. Other than if you don't pin slash in your update. 
You can't make post patch up to delete methods work unless you explicitly define depend slash false and settings and trail slash false for each and every router. It's like you're basically going to skip this most of the time. You can't make those methods work to work with REST framework unless you explicitly define that false in settings and trailing shash false for each and every router you got to use if you use routers. It is like you basically got to skip this most times. I mean, I speak Southern, but this is getting a little off the rocker here. You got to waste a hell of a lot of time debugging this. Tangle reaction and slashes has been forced. It's up to use the relative and slashes or not. But it doesn't explain Jack chooses one specific way or the other. I don't know the answer either, but so far it seems a random choice in the beginning. Well, who knows what the reason is. From the docs, from the middleware, the uses pen slashes, search engine index will cheat in a separate URL, so it's best practice normally. Yes, we get this. Whatever, they, that's the way that it's done. So I don't like it, but we're going to do it. Um, but in order to do that, we need to go here and take this out and do this. Ugh. I think we just do int there. Uh, no, we need to do int underscore ID. So we define the type and then give it the variable name. Uh, yep. Tailwind Playground. Hey, it worked. And see, it also auto bounced the version without slashes to the one with slashes. Um, so, hooray. It's funny for me that the idea is to design a beautiful URL and they put a slash at the end of it. That's just not, those two things are not together for me. Uh, okay, so now we've got that coming in. Now, how do we get it so that we actually display a different page? First, let's give it a different page to display. Hmm, yeah, let's call one.html for now. And I'm not gonna worry about trying to like, am I or am I not? Maybe I will. Uh, oh, sorry, maybe, maybe I will um, add a base template here. All right, LI, give me a different one. If the periods be separated by the short, the measure is to be reviewed and rec rectified, or blah, 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 I don't know. Uh, first, let's just see if we can make these things line up. So I think this passes the ID to views. Or sorry, to, let's close this, let's close this, let's close this. So URLs goes to views.page, and that gets into this ID. So is this as simple as this? It is, because that's our new text. Sweet, so now we can just make as many of these as we want. Um, the other thing we should try and figure out all right, so let's do make a base tailwind playground base tailwind playground base tailwind playground. I like that. Let's do that. Grab this. Take that. Take this. Take that. So I think. Hmm. So this 
body, serif, normal letting, or tracking normal. I don't know if we're going to need to apply body stuff. If we do, we can do that later. Um, block content. In block content. Oops. Oh. Uh, extends base tailwind playground HTML. I think that's what you do, right? And then we suck all this stuff out, and we do block content, which is like block. Content. In block. Content. We're in one. Uh, get some different text. Wah wah. Source does not exist. Dev toolkit templates. Does the extend only work from top level templates? Links, pages, templates, tailwind, templates. Oh, 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 I get it. You got to do Tailwind Playground. Oh, okay. So I can actually just do this. So rename this. It's already namespaced in its directory, which is the whole point of having those directories. So this should work. There we go. Uh, cool. That is very centered. That stay centered. That's pretty cool. I've spent many an hour trying to figure out how to do that. Uh, in the past, I have some code around somewhere that does it. Um, but like, that's uh, super nice to have. Um, So, V E R T I C L and horizontal. See, this is interesting because do I want to have? I think I do want to put the bodies in here because this could actually end up being snapshots too. Um, yeah. So, yeah, increasingly what I'm trying to do is come up with stuff to publish. I mean, I'm doing this for me, but I also want to do it so that it's publishable, like the digital garden thing. Center vertically and horizontally. Oh, T-I-C-A-L-O-Y in the viewport. Any other content would go below 
below the fold. So I wonder if you could... So it's everything in that section. But like, if we do this, right, it's gonna do... That's really actually very cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this go um, for individual pages or something. I don't know. Like, this this is for me, but eventually I have to figure out how to publish this. Um, but I do want to switch the base out so that I've got the bodies in there. So it's really just the head or whatever, but like. Base, body, body, body. Hey, nothing changed. Everything changed. Um. Text 5XL. Yeah, so cool. So flex, I still don't really know what flex boxes are. And by kind of don't, I mean I don't. Complete guide to flex box. Hey, CSS tricks. Been a while. Thanks, front end masters. Background. Yeah, see, I hadn't done CSS since 2017, and way before that, actually. To S50 both. So it's both to accommodate kind of display devices and screen size. Flex container expands to fill all, fill available free space and shrinks to prevent or shrink some different overflow. Most importantly, the Flexbox layout is direction agnostic as opposed to the regular layouts. Support large complex, especially when it comes to orientation, changing, resizing. The Flexbox output is most appropriate component of an application and small scale grid. The grid layout is intended for larger. Oh, sorry. Well, the grid layout is for larger scale layouts. Container items. Properties of order. Display defines a flex container inline or block. It enables a flex container for all its direct children. And CSS columns have no effect on a flex container. I don't really know what that means yet. By default, flex items are laid out in source order. However, the order property controls the order in which they appear in the flex container. Okay. Flex direction. Oh. Establishes the main axis, that's defining the direction of the place. Flexbox is a single direction layout concept. Think of a flex item as primary laying out either horizontal or vertical columns. Gotcha. Row, row reserves, column, column reserves. Gotcha. Flex grow, defines the ability to flex to grow if necessary. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Boots and pants. I don't know what that means. Hopefully, it's a good thing. I'm ne I'm wearing pants, not boots. I don't even know if I don't have boots anymore. 
Uh, dictates the amount of space. The following have ref school is set to one. The remaining space in the container will be distributed equally to all children. The remaining space would take up twice as much space. Negative numbers invalid. Okay, you can wrap them. You can shrink. Track reference. It's been a while. All I remember is like when he busts the when he bum, busts out of the bathroom singing Smash Mouth. Um, and Donkey, I remember Donkey, and the Gingerbread Man with his legs, which is horrible, really, if you think about it. Uh, anyways, how's it going? Life treating you all right over there? Flex basis. See, this is where I need to start seeing flex, a shorthand for flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis combined. See, this is gonna, I'm gonna have to get into this too. Line items, flex start, flex end, center, stretch, baseline. Examples, here's what I really need. Very simple example, solving an almost daily problem, perfect centering. Could be simpler using flex box. Parent display effects, children with 100 margin auto, magic. Auto on a flex box container absorb extra space, yeah. Done, everything else is just a silent concern. Pull as a pen featuring this example. Be sure to go to code pen to try resizing your window and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna play around with this at some other point. For now, we're just gonna play with this and try and copy and paste some code. Uh, but I'm really, I'm, I'm very pleased that this is now super possible. Uh, oh, I know what I was gonna do. So let's make a two here. And where was our other file that we had? Base, index, fuse. No, this was its own thing. Uh, let's go find it. See, so they've got all these components, which is cool, but I need like the basic page. There we go, show code. Just playing around some HTML, CSS, and JS. Yeah, same. Sweet. Social cards. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool looking. I need to, oh, here's your heart. Yeah, nice. That what you're, that's what you were working on the other night, right? Hey, it just lit up. Look at that. I should probably use code pen for this stuff, shouldn't I? That would be a smarter thing to do, but I'm gonna do it on my thing for no particular reason. Uh, all right, let's grab this. So what I'm trying to do, or I think I wanna try and do is, so I'm trying to, I'm thinking about doing my website and I'm thinking I just wanna put like a bunch of these little, um, Oh, see, what is this? This looks like not CSS. Cart open false is open. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. So we got a header. Yeah, so there's all these, this is all JavaScripty stuff, I think. 
Like, is that is that valid CSS? A question mark. But if you just do text, let me see what that thing actually looked like. Close space, hide code. Oh, this must be the button, I'll bet. Is there a whole bunch of different path stuff there? Yeah. Wait, MacBook Pro. It's weird, that wasn't in there. Where's MacBook Pro? Wristwatch. Products. Okay. Here's main. Sweet. Container auto. See, that's what I need again. So let's go to back to tailwind. Oh, whoops. Can't see chat. I should be able to see chat. Hey, it turns red. Is there stuff to, oh, look at that. Scrolls in. Lazy loading, I like it. Or like, not lazy loading, but whatever that's called. Like, magically showing up. And magically disappearing. That's slick. I like the shadow. Gives it a little 3D effect. I can't remember what that painting's from. Is it resizing? Oh, is it not like resized down? Not yet. Is that what you're talking about? Like collapsing for different size browsers? Where our tailwind go? Oops. I can't spell it. There we go. All right, again, what I really need is like the reference, which is not here. I found it the other day. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh wait, it's over here. If you do this, components, no. Playground news resources, learn UI, official. Oh, documentation, that'd be the first one. No, there's, I swear there's one that I found that gave us like Like what the meaning of all these, you know, like H5, W5, MX. What does MX mean? I don't know. What does PX mean? I don't know. I just, I would like to know what those things mean. Max W SM. I'm pretty sure SM is small. I saw somewhere. I think W is width, but like max width small. MX auto. Don't know. Rounded. I need help. MX. <gasps> I found it. Margin. Okay. What is MX? My MX. Margin left and right. Okay. What's MY? Top and bottom. That makes sense. Oh. Margin X, margin Y. Gotcha. Negative. Goes negative. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. MT. 
top, R is right, L is left, B is bottom. That all makes sense. See, that's all I really needed. Uh, notes, tailwind notes. Margins. So, M, margin, MX, margin, left, margin, right, MY, margin top, margin bottom, MT, margin top, MB margin, which is like, just gonna do that all the time. Margin bottom, ML margin left, MR margin right. Add margin to a single side. Add horizontal margin. <clears throat> See, this is the page I was looking for. Docs, 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 docs. Is this gonna give me the full page here? No, where? Watch the screen crash, try in the browser, read the docs, but read the docs. I want to start learning, start building, or start watching. I want to get back to the docs page. <laughs> Am I missing it? Am I missing some link somewhere that's like super obvious? Gradients. See docs and then gradient colors. Where I want to see all of these. I want to see that index. Cause like Margin is not here. Components is not it. Screencast not it. Try and browser start building. Whoa. This is crazy. Like it's neat that you can do all this stuff, but like that's a heck of a thing to start with. Oops, back up. Let's just see if I can find it in here. Nope. Source. Oh, this is probably all a React page. So, crap. I don't get it. Like, I really, I really don't get it. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. More stuff is down here. Utility first, dark mode, configuration, breakpoints, variants, base styles, base styles. Display floats clear. Overflow, ha, look at all this stuff. Now we're getting in there. I don't really know what all that means. Position Z, Flexbox, there we go. Okay, grid, template columns. Tell you for specifying grid in a grid layout, which I don't know if that's like the way to do things anymore. Justify, spacing, padding, sizing, width, typography. They did a lot of stuff in here. Orders, effects, table, transitions, cool, transforms, cool, interactivity, cool. 
All right, so that's where all the stuff is. Sweet. Still tough to look it up directly. W, so, okay, so this isn't a grid. So here's our header, span 200 plus products. Okay, that's margin top, text small, text gray 500. Got it. And that's in, so what is PX though? I need to know what PX is. What do we think PX is? Position? Nope. That's cool. They've got good docs if you can get into it. Flex direction. Oh, I wish back would take you here. Uh, where did, ooh, nice. PX. Customize spacing. Use the spacing key in the theme section of your dot to file a customized Tailwind's default space sizing. By default, the spacing size is inherited by padded margin of yeah, all this. I didn't know gap, inset, space, or translate were things. So spacing is just one. Oh, okay. This will generate classes P. Oh, okay, 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 okay. A scribe theme doc, if you like to override the default spacing scale, you may do so for the theme spacing section of this. A small default spacing. Interesting. All right. We're going to want this one. So this, M, X, Y, so Y is eight. So that should actually be spacing of eight, right? How are we setting the width overall? Header. PXR container. So I took out that other line, but hidden width full justify. And actually, I wonder is this. So I think this thing actually goes full width, full width, which I'm not sure if I want to do. Yeah, so it's staying the full width of the thing. So I, I expect Actually, we can test this, can't we? So, yeah, you know what we should do is just throw this whole thing out and see what happens. So section, so let's just throw some body and see what happens. So we're on two, right? Yep, two, cool. So if we come here and we do this and we go two, there we go. Oh, look at all this stuff. I didn't know that was there. Also, I can't close it. Uh oh 
Can't close it. Uh, that's actually interesting, though. We're going to hang on to that. Um, yeah, okay, so that goes the, the full width. Okay. That's cool. How do we get just... All right, let's get the... Here's where the MacBook Pro thing was coming into play that I couldn't figure out. So let's start taking pieces away. So... Uh, there's a button. We're going to get rid of the button. Here, let's go up here. And just start taking stuff away from the top. That. New York. Get rid of this div. Get rid of brand. Oh, see, this is interesting. Because those two divs are in line with each other. Flex. Okay, items center, justify between. See, this This is blowing my brain a little bit. I'm not sure about... To me, a div scans the whole thing, but these are, I think, flexed. <clears throat> so let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So what I want is just the like the simple components of this stuff so I can see what's going on. So we're just gonna chop down. Thankfully it's nice and tidily spaced. So we can get rid of that, we can get rid of that, and get rid of this. Here's a bunch of nav stuff. Right? So those are gonna go. Though interestingly, oh, they're centered. That's why they're not spaced out. Okay, that's cool. I want to try this. Class, justify, left. What does that do? Okay, so there is something keeping it bound. Container MX Auto. What if we take that out? Gotcha. So container, please. Voted for fixing an element's width to the current breakpoint. Container class sets max width for an element to match min width. It's useful if you prefer design of fixed. If you prefer design for a fixed set of screen sizes, I'm trying to accommodate a fluid thing. Okay. Note that unlike containers, you might use it for Tailwind does not center itself automatically and does not have a built-in horizontal padding. To center, use MX Auto. To add horizontal padding, use that. Okay, responsive variants. Container also includes a responsive variants like MD by default that allows you to make some behavior like a container at only a certain breakpoint and up. Full width fluid. Until the large breakpoint, then lock container. It's MD. Yeah, MD. For medium. So 
So we're going to go to default, horizontal padding. If you'd like to disable the responsive variance, you can do so by setting container to an empty array and the variance. Disabling entirely. Okay, so the container goes up to 1500 pixels. But if we do container LG, breakpoint none. Container classes sets the max width of an element to match the min width of the current breakpoint. Container class also includes responsive variants like MD container. By default, that allow you to make something behave like a container only at a certain breakpoint and up. What does this do? Where'd my container go? Oh, there it is. Oops. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I don't totally get it, but I'm in the I'm in the area. Because if you take container out, then it just goes full width. There's padding six. We take that out. Whoops. Yeah. And then does this have some padding too? Yep. Okay. But if we put the container back in. makes it only 1500 pixels or whatever it is. This is super interesting, the collapsing in. That's cool. To each one of these is just a, a rate, uh, an A, whatever, so that's fine. Um, let's put that back. Actually, I'm gonna take all that out, it's fine. Nav goes away. What is this wrapping? Span. What is this? Oh, it's the thing in the search box. Oh, and that's the search box. Okay. So that's going to go away. Now this could go away, and our header's gone. Sweet. Uh, cool. And now, here's the cart stuff. Is this the cart right here? Is this whole thing? Yep, I bet that's it. Sweet. Okay, so this, so a container wraps you to a certain number of pixels. <clears throat> this is cool. I like this. This is a nice little framework. I'm trying to think about, I'm already thinking about the design a little bit that we can play with this. So it's cool. Um, giant, giant font. And so if we take away 
this contain well so is this the full yeah so it's everything in main mx auto would center it x6 so let's see if this spreads it out a little bit more yeah okay gotcha See, this is, I think, that is kind of the base of the design that I'm looking for for my site. Um, I think this is what I'm going to go with. It's kind of like this was what was in my head, and I saw this. And I was like, ooh, look at that. That's just about exactly what I'm looking for. So if we take these out, we take this out. So this container has everything. There's stuff at the bottom. Okay, gotcha. Yes, this is very much what I'm looking for. Um, and also, it looks like, so this is another thing that kind of blows my brain. Like these things just cascade, right? Yeah, so each one of them is just their own item in its own little lineup. And they just cascade in. That's super cool. Three HTML. In block content, body. Whoops, body. Close the base. One, two. Example from here. Tail one components, which we're going to call TC. Example from Tail One Components. Oh, that defaults open. I don't like it there. Broken down a little. Uh, yeah. So, next I want to pull it back up one more time. And yeah, this X data, and like this is must be something that does magic. Um, right, header. So you could do container SM container. I just want to see what this does. Small container MX auto. And we're just going to leave it at that. And then actually uh, put in some text. Uh, here, let's put it in P's just so it's actually in a tag. 
Whoops. Oh, actually, no. Don't need to do that. It's setting in a div. I'll just leave it in the div. So let's see what three looks like. Gotcha. So it's got a little bit of padding on it. But if we do... Wait, I thought container should have kicked in. And kept it from being... Quite that... C-O-N-T-I-N-E-R. That doesn't look right. Something's wrong. What am I doing? Three. It's not picking up the style sheet. Block content. It has. It's getting it. What's going on? Uh, hello. Oh. Right. Da, 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 da. Got to actually use the thing. There we go. So is this SM container small? No, that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. How do you make it? Um, MD container. So this must just be where my browser go. So that's all responsive, basically. We got it all turned around here. Container. But if we do MD container, let's see if that makes it jump. But for one, it just moved it down. And now it's making it like bounce until there, in which and when it goes responsive. What does SM container do? Bang, 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 bang. And then that would be responsive if we get any smaller. How do you make it? How do you set the max width though? Like if I only want it to go so big. Box sizing. Container. Oh, hey, look at this. Totally messy. Pre flight, box sizing, display. See, why, why aren't these available just in like uh, index, table of contents? Pre flight. Presets, maybe they are. Oh, box size, yeah, okay. Container, box size, and display floats, clear. Position, top right, left. That's a lot of them. Visibility, position, position maybe? Static fit, oh yeah, no. Um, tailwind, width. So you can do width as percentages. 
Max content, min content. With auto, let's browser calculate and select the width or element. Screen width. Fixed width. Fluid width. Use W fraction and W full to set an element percentage based. I gotcha. Responsive. To control the width of an element at a specific breakpoint, add a screen prefix to it. For example, MD full to, uh, to medium screen and above. And above. With scale. Variance. Was on max width? No, it's width. Max width. Max width medium. So the maximum width of an element. It goes in art rims. So, ooh, what is that? CH, I don't know what that is. <gasps> Characters? No way. Pros. The idea behind this class is allows you to have an op optimal reading width. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. I still haven't solved that, but that's okay. Er, get in there. People don't use paragraph tags anymore, do they? Oh, there's some. Yeah. Why don't that work? There you go. Also, I need to fix something there because there's spaces at the end of some of those. Oh, some. There's a space, we don't want the space. There's a space, we don't want the space. Another space, goes away. Many a spaces, everything a space. You get a space, you don't get a space. Space, 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 S's are funny. There's one, and another one. And another one bites the dust. What does that do? I want to see what that does. I should have centered it. MX Auto. That's pretty hot. I like that a lot.
that's really cool. Uh, in other news, I still haven't figured out how. What is that max width? Max width. Responsive. What is all this stuff? Sticky. That was position again. Scroll bottom left, right. Wait. I feel like I've got two of these open. Where'd width go? To look at the theme. Theme. Default theme. I guess that just comes down in the mix. Whatever. There we go. Sizing, wicks, max width. This is what I'm looking for. Because I don't really want. 3XL, 4XL, 56 rem, so I don't know. Max width that, and we're gonna take small container out and just call it container. There we go. Well, I guess you could do a bunch more padding on it. Would be another way to do it. Uh, what I should do is break this out to its own thing. So we can look at it. Oh, I don't have the font sizes blown up. That's it. Oh, that makes it easier. If that's there, we're going to keep it at that size. So padding. Right, so you could just do padding whatever to the element, padding X, 32. Oh, now I'm all confused. Oh, come here, U. Also, why is that? Oh, there we go. Right. So that's how you can control your basics of it, I guess. Or is that crunched down? What happens if we move this down? That seems to work. And now how did they do One didn't do much, did it? Is 18 a thing? Let's see if 18's a thing. There we go. Is 24 a thing? Let's see if 24 is a thing. It's not bad. Of course, I'm super jumped up here, so I'm not really sure. Oh, look at that. That must be a container thing happening. Wait, but this has a container. I'm super confused. If we take max pros away, does that? No, 
it gets bigger. Oh, this has padding 24 on it. I gotcha. There we go. There's some X Pros. Whoops. Quit. So how would you do... So if that's a container... So if these are gonna be different heights... I'm not sure if I wanna do different heights or not. Justify end and small. Okay, where's all the these things? Width full. Max width small. Ah, look at that. Max auto rounded shadow hidden overflow. And then height 56, background, they're calling whatever that is an unsplash. But so if I wanted to do, well, I'm kind of surprised the H1 didn't actually make anything bigger. I guess everything's just completely mushed down. It has to be a class. Fine. So could you do... Yeah, so you could set the max width of a thing. So I guess do a percentage. How do those containers work? All right, let's try something. Um, so in main, max width, small. Container. It's not a container. There's gonna be a container around it though. <sighs> of course that is that really the smallest that looks not like it this what I would expect to be the smallest with math max width none X are small okay okay it's doing rims so XS Then if we have another one with different text. And then another one with different text. Oh, that shouldn't be in a container. Sorry. It should be up here. It stacks them. Why does it stack them? Uh, I confused. How these work? Container MX Auto padding six. We'll take it.
H3. Wait, am I on the wrong thing? No, that's it. Oh, class grid. Gotcha. I thought it was just overflowing, like, yeah, because the flex thing, you're supposed to be able to, like, zzz zzz around. Um, okay, so those are going that way. Now the question is, if this is very short text. Okay, so it keeps them, keeps their baselines the same or whatever. Interesting, okay. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm not angry at it. Yeah, actually, that'd be kind of cool. Is there a way to make them tinier? Grid, max width, excess. Max width, extra small. Main content, pros, okay. Screen small. What is that gonna do? We need a couple more. Do, 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 do. There's that. There's that. There's that. Didn't change anything. But like, that's kind of cool. So that's what you'd get most of the time. Uh, I can get behind that. What would be cool, though, is if... How would you do it so uh here let's put uh let's put some text back in the other one here just to get them all going i don't want the full i don't want the full thing but i want a little more just to have some variation up here That was a lot less than I was expecting. That's okay. Uh, here, let's trim a little bit off that second one, just because it'll be a little closer. Let me see if somebody back the right thing there. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, that's pretty cool. I like this. So it's getting there. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, all right, 
that's a good start. And then let's make another one. Let's bounce off. Let's make number four. And let's go to number four, which is like number five, but you know, four. And we're actually gonna start with this. My nose is running. What if he didn't have a header? Yeah, what if he didn't have a header or a welcome or whatever? You just had... Like, those things. That might be cool. Uh... This. Container. Right. Box sizing. Whatever. Display. Uh, yeah, it's the inline blocks. That's kind of what I was thinking was going to happen. Where's flex? Block level flex container. Inline flex to create inline flex container. Kind of wish they'd show more things so you'd see what's happening. Oh, wait, gap for grid calls three. So, grid calls one, small grid. Oh, look at that. Small grid calls two. Three. Margin top is six. So what if we do five, four, three, one. This is fun. I haven't played with CSS stuff. Ooh, see that's interesting. That may be too... Hmm. I don't know, that may be too tight. How do you set the base font? Where's font stuff? This is fun. Font size. Text base. I'm assuming that's what that is. Text base. LG, I want to go large. Mm, I can probably just go base, right? Which should just be the same. Hmm, five or four? What do we think? Probably four is fine. But you could keep four moving down a little bit.
Yeah, okay, we'll play with that. But now the trick is, how do we add, like, headers up here? All right, so... Background color, black, white, grays. How about background gray 20? Just a little bit. Ah, keeps jumping. I kind of like this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make my site nothing but these. That'll be kind of cool, actually. Uh, how did you round them? Border radius? Border radius of an element. That rounded. Uh, rounded MD. Oh, but I don't want the top. Rounding side specifically. There we go. Rounding top. See, this is the way to do it. And then... Padding right... Four. Padding left, four, two. And then this. Max W pros. What's that going to do? Does it give it padding? No, OK, it doesn't. PX to. Oh, it looks like it came in even more. We can do that as X and one. I like this. I really like this. Huh, I wonder if there was a way, and I'm sure there is, to Yeah, you would just make this one div and stack divs inside of it make this a div, and then double it. Hmm. So that's really, is that really, wait, no. Crap. I don't know what real size is anymore. 
127. Here, let's get to zero. Or 100. So that's legit size. I like this. Because I, I don't know how to do colors. So, like, this is this works. And then you could do... Yeah, you could do a thing. Like, I'm sure you could do a thing where, like, if you mouse over, it, like, highlights. That's for another time. Uh, actually, what happens if you just wrap this whole thing in an A? Nothing. Oh, there it goes. You need an extra href. Yeah, so you could mouse over the whole thing and click to go, right? So if we do whatever, three. Goes to, uh, whoops, right. Ah, oh, those slashes. There goes the three, okay. Hmm, I'm liking this. What does it look like if we had this header everywhere? Oh, we need to do the P tag as well. This will, of course, be done by a computer. Though I don't know, maybe I'll do it by hand. It's gonna be some extra work to get the, uh, the these things going, the descriptions or whatever. I still want it to be, uh, so three really needs to bump down to two. So this really needs to go to two. That should probably go to three. Oh, this is what they had originally. Yeah, no header. I think I'm gonna try that. Actually, there's there's some websites that are out there like that. Yeah, I think that's going to be my homepage. Uh, the trick's going to be what happens if we have header that goes longer than the width of, of the header. Should just roll over, right? Yeah, that's fine. Is it though? Hmm. I don't like that as much. I mean, unless they're all that way. Is that going to work? I don't know if that's going to work or not. Whoops. That would have worked. Uh, it did not work. Let's see if that works. That worked.
see, because some of the post titles, right, are longer. And so this is one of those design things where, I mean, like... I really like this thin look, but like... I mean, I guess if I'm curating the whole thing, I could still make that happen. Boop. But I really like this look. What if you just did... Just, like, bolded it. Oops. Uh, so take the background. So that should just make it disappear, right? Ah. And then, how do I make it bold? With my font stuff. I already get past it. I kind of zoned there for a second. Text color. Capacity. Decoration. Underline. Nope. 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 Oh, well, maybe. That's kind of interesting. Where'd this go? Get rid of this. See, it worked. That is not the right thing. Why? Is, how'd that get in the mix? See, it still has that thing where... All right, where's bold? I need to find bold. Font, wait. Font, bold. Oh, you know what's funny? I don't know about your music, but my music stopped. stream computer has been running for like two weeks on this uh there it goes longer so if we do the bold we definitely are not going to do the underline with it I put the bold in a second ago because oh here it is see they need to be aligned I like these headers a lot better a lot better See, like, this isn't bad. Uh, 
Yeah. See, I kind of like this, like this look better. Like if I could just have it be one line. Which I guess I could, I mean, do. Like it doesn't have to be the title. Hmm. Yeah, this is interesting. I think I'm going to play with this. Um, and then, so that's, yeah, I, I really like this. Feels like a newspaper. <laughs> I like it's got a little spacing. Ah, uh, when you go all the way, yeah, uh... I might keep it that wide. How do you keep it that wide? Max width LG. Does that work? Nope. Oh wait, did I put it in the right, wrong place? No, it was the right place. I uh, just used the wrong thing. Max width. Oh, that should have been it. Oh, that's not the screen size. Max Wick screen. That's what we want. Uh, 1280. Let's try that. There we go. I feel like that should still be four right there. Like, I like that. All right, let's go back to this. So what we could call them, right? We could come up with like posts. Links. Post stream notes. Um, snippet Python. Actually, let's just call it Python snippet, right? Django snippet. like these better though if we bold those let's see what that looks like see I really like having just Legos to play with like I don't want to have to build the Legos I like having Legos to play with this is better 
drop the rounded. Actually, I guess we can drop the... That. So, and then, so we're removing all of that. So, oops, removing all of that. That one didn't get it. That one didn't do get it. Get it. And then what would be cool is to have little icons for each one too. Does Tailwind have icons? There's free icons out there, right? So I could get those. Um, ooh, that's ugly. So this would be welcome. It's funny because I don't like I'm sure I could do all of this stuff without something like Tailwind, but like this was super easy and nice and I didn't have to think about it. I started to mess around with uh, Bootstrap, which I know is another way of doing this stuff, but Tailwind seemed better, so I like it. So I feel like that should be four still. But that's too small for four. Uh, grid calls. Starts at one, because the small, large. See, I can't set the breakpoints. So I guess it's going to be three at that size screen. But so actually, hang on. What's the. Oh no, it's four at a at a screen. Hmm. It's kind of nuts to think about it without it without a header. And also, like how <laughs> how deep would like, we just run this forever? Because um, like you'd want to have or would this just be kind of the opening page and then you'd jump into it? Sure, we'll play with it.
but yeah, it's be better than having this kind of stuff. Um, oops, whatever. I really like that. I mean, super duper simple, right? But like, all right, so I need to put a header on there just to see, right? See, when I hit quote, if I'm in the quotes, don't jump me out of the quotes. There's probably a way to fix that. So we want M8. Wait, MX8, 8, 8, 8, MY, MT, 4. Don't know why that's all the way over there. Container. Oh, because we don't have MX Auto, maybe? Ah, uh, wait. I think I saw it. Max week screen XL. MX MT MX auto of this. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, there must be some gap six or whatever. That's probably what it is. Mm, why aren't that moving? Max width screen auto. Oh. Wheel. I don't know why that's there. Um, space between a line content content center oops okay why aren't that centering what's going on didn't work. The other thing I need to decide is so I'm going to go from allenwsmith.com over to allen.fm. I'm still not sure about that. I mean, I've had this site for so long, 20 something years. Why is that not container? Is this freaking it out? Content. Utility for controlling how rows are positioned. Oh. I got the wrong thing. Let's also look for text. Size, weight, spacing, height, position, text align. That's probably what we want. Let's try that. Margin top two. Uh, 
text color. Oh, they got all kinds of colors in there. Black current. Gray 500. Three hundred? Is that a thing? Now I don't want it over there. I want it left. Hmm. You know what we could do? Was that background stuff again? Hmm. PL one. PL one. Whoops. See, do it again. That's just not the way the apps that I, the other apps that I use, work. Border radius. Rounded large. Oops. Forgot. We want to do just the top. Rounded T. Can you put a border? Border one picks. Border T. There we go. Border B. Wait, what is this? A3 rounded. There's a lot of stuff in there. Should be in there. Oh, now I like that. Don't like this, though. What we could do for a highlight is give it a slightly different color. Yeah, this would be fun to mess around with. Uh, 
Order B. That's pretty. I like that. I still am not sure about the lack of header. Like, I like it. But it feels like you need something coming in on that welcome. Like, Red 900. How are you looking, Red 900? I just want some type of signifier that's like that draws your eye to this one to start with. That's not going to work. That's probably what that's going to be. Icons, icons, icons. The noun project. Oh, material. This one came up first. So, so open source icon number 2000. Oh, wow. 60, 600,000? 700,000? No way. It's pretty good. There it is right there. There's my post. Get this icon. Mm, I don't like this. Like, get this icon. I just want to get the icon. I don't want to sign up for shit. Excuse me. Oh. Now I'm trying to see if I can get it without doing anything, because I'm not going to sign up online. I mean, I may sign up for it or whatever, it's fine, but I don't like having to do that. It's amazing what you can do in such a small number of things. All right, I'm going to go look for icons at some other time. I don't need to do that right now. Uh, I still feel like, oh, you know what we could do? Border, bottom. Let's change the color of that one. To something bright. None of these colors are particularly bright. Hmm. 
By the way, are these gradients? That is not what I meant. That said, Ooh, that didn't work. That one. See, now I'm back to wondering if you want to add. So, like, you could add color to these. And just like assign colors to each of the types. It's like that's a post and a Python snippet and a Python snippet. I'm guessing green's a thing. I don't know if I like it or not. I do like a little color. But now I get I get it back to doing the radius. Where'd my rounded go? Rounded T small. Where'd rounded T large go? Oh, there it is. If I was smart, oops, I would not hit the microphone if I was smart. I don't like this. I'm going to leave it though and make another one. Um, we're going to make five so that I've got ones to mess with, right? Place all those up here. We're gonna go to here. Ah, uh, colors. Forgot about the colors. Just do these manually. It's fine. It's like I never know when to stop and kind of stamp a revision. Yeah, you need I need some icons. 
So let's just grab a couple icons. I don't really care what they are right now. Um, to put in, I say I don't care, and then I'm like waiting, for, like trying to figure them out. Flaky. Star. See, that's how it should work. Downloads. Uh, show me div. Toolkit. Static. I'm just going to put it in the CSS directory. All right, now let's figure out how to call it. Oh, uh, actually, so that other one had some SVGs in them. SVG class non-stroke. Oh, but they did. They actually did it in line. I wonder if material has it in line. Select icon, SVG. Icon font, assets, ping. Uh, it would be cool if they gave you the pathing for it, but they don't, so uh, HTML, SVG, tag, file. You just use an image? Here, this is the question that I have right here. I can remember the SVG primer, which covers the topic. Twenty fourteen update. If you want non interactive SVG, use image. Okay, yeah, just use the image. I'm not gonna have a fallback. So, okay, you just use an image tag. Gotcha. Now, how do we put them in? So that's gonna be in CSS. that, I think, because where's our base? Oh, you got to call it this way. What is that going to do? It's going to explode. Why did it explode? Static. Oh, you must have to load static everywhere you call it, huh? Yep. Yeah. All right, so... Here's positioning stuff that I do not get at all. To pack rows and container against the start across access, center, end, space between, space around, responsive, customizing. Line items. Place content. Okay. 
justify content? No. Um, object position. How a replaced elements content should be positioned within its container. I don't know what the replace means. Class object none. To position an object only at a specified breakpoint at screen. We want the right top. It tried. What's this object none? Top left. Utilities for controlling the placements of positioned elements. This is what I just did. I don't know what the replaced thing means. Floats. Just do float left, right? Float left. No, float right. There we go. Ew. It's bad spacing. It needs, well, I guess if it was bigger, it'd be okay. Um, SVG set image size. SVG is not just an image. I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff here because it's all framed up. I kind of wish there was a TLDR for this. Setting height and width makes you scale predictably in most browsers, but on it, i.e. With CSS like that, I will... I just want to see if that changes anything. So. It does. So I think there was... Font size, background size, resize, size, font size. I thought there was height. There we go, sizing, height. Height of an element. So let's do H8 and W8. Now let's do four, just to make sure we're downsizing a little bit. Tiny. Now does it change is the real question. That's what we're looking for. It does. Okay, so that's how we're doing our SVGs. I 
it's a lot of extra space over here, but I think that may just be because... Padding... Right... Two. That shrunk. That was kind of weird. I didn't expect that. I don't understand why it keeps shrinking when I'm moving it over. Oh, padding versus margin. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So, 10, 10. Oh, actually, you know I should do? Let's do this. We're gonna cut this. Actually, we're gonna copy this whole thing. Then we're gonna cut this. Now we're gonna make another version. See, the only thing that's a bummer about not having this stuff. Oh, I guess I could set these things up to go next, forward, and back. Whoops. Yeah, see, that might be interesting doing that. So let's get a few more icons over here. That looks like a uh, snippet to me. Don't need two copies of that. So put this in here, uh, this way. And totally miss it somehow. Is there a space there? I do that. that was weird. Looks like a little space invader. I don't know if I like these in the text. I may move them up by the headers, which is going to give me even less space for the header, but it'll give it some identification. Let me get a couple more here, just to have them. Perm identity, pets. Pregnant woman, preview. That looks creepy, that's what that looks. Thank you. 
I like that one. These names keep getting longer and longer and longer. Stream Notes gets this one because, sure. Uh, what else we got? It's kind of generic. I like it. Like, if I was, like, a good designer, I would, like, be making my own and they'd all make sense and be whatever. But, like, that's not really my... Power. There we go. That's why I was here. Cut. 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 All right. So we get this one. Get this one. Get this one. How are we doing? Did we break anything yet? I think they're also too big. Maybe if you move them down just a little bit, does that make them okay? it down too and see what happens. Oh, I was hoping that would get out of the replace. There we go. I'm not mad, mad at that. We need to have a little more padding over there, but that's not awful. All right, so let's just copy a couple more of these down here just to have them. It's not awful, but I think I'm going to like it better up here. So that's six. Here comes seven. I almost call it seven dot pi. It's not what this is. Okay, so it's got to go inside that. That didn't work at all because I'm on the wrong file. Try that. Boop. Uh, four, four, one. Take the top off. Six. Six. Put the top back on. Oh, take the top back off. That's not awful. That's not awful at all. So this becomes, what do we do, four? Four, I forgot. Six, six, one. Get the space out of there. Keep one of the spaces in there. Six, six. 
One. Does that sound right? Also, we gotta move them. That's cool, no problem. We can do that. Okay, so that's one. I think I'm gonna flip them to the other side. Or not, I think. I'm gonna try them on the other side. Better said. There's probably a way to script this, but. Like if I was real good with Ragax. That didn't work so good. Flow left. Left and right are not easy for me. Mm, I don't know about this. Oh, actually, can I just do this here? Will that work? Because that would be cool. Nope. I talk less when I get tired because, you know, tired. Long day of meetings. It was not the funnest day, but that's okay. We're doing this now. So oh, what? That would be a problem right there. Oh, yeah. Would that have worked if I hadn't biffed that? Stop doing that. I don't think so. No, I think I like it cleaner. Just like plain. Is that five? Yeah. And even with five, I think just the one pixel border. That apparently is nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just th this. 
this. I think that's going to be it. I mean, what I could do is make this one two. Let me see if I can do that. And then we're going to call it. So that's off of five. So this is nine. Is that what we just did? It is nine. So how do you call span a grid? Template columns, columns start and end. Call span, there you go. So when that was it. Template columns. Grid calls. Template rows. Columns start and end. Tilly's controlling how elements are sized and placed on grids. Div call span two. That should have worked. What did I do wrong? It's because the A is wrapping it? add some padding to paragraphs. Oh, that's interesting. I don't like it. Eh, it's not awful. That exploded. Oh, that's not good at all. What's going on there? Uh, that's something to look at for another time. Oh, uh, is it because it's spanning two that it's freaking out? I mean, I can't have that. How about that's it? Oh, that's a bummer. I thought I had a solution right there. MX auto, max screen W. Grid, grab, so what if you take all this away? Nothing changes. Okay, I was wondering about that. So now, do it again. Call span two. So that's got that. That works, that works. Oh, look at that. It's actually going across the full. Ah.
That's a bummer. It's trying to push to... I understand what's going on. This will fix it. Yup. That's got to be super tight, though, on a... Wait. I don't know what real is anymore. Oh, what the hell's going on there? Yeah, so if you're telling it to call spam 2, but the grid calls goes to 1, it... So it freaks out. And see, that's going to be the mobile size. And it really, it needs to not be that. So question is... Use the start and end to make start on the nth grid combined. Responsive. Aha! To control the column placement of an element, a specific breakpoint, add screen prefix. So SM call span one. Otherwise, call span two. If we take this back to one. Oh, gotta do the screen. Add a screen prefix to any existing. For example, MD to apply only at medium sizes and above. It is Fiona Apple. I'm hearing Fiona Apple. Box sizing. Where's the screen? SM. See, I thought that would do it. Oh, wait. Maybe you got to do that. There you go. And then probably you can just do this. That's it. That's kind of long, but whatever. That's cool. That's how, yeah, that's how you do it. Because I want a little bit more weight over there or whatever. Um, okay, that's the design. Now the question becomes... I say I don't want, I don't think I want to just make it giant. Like, because you could, like, I could just throw all the content on the page as one thing. Um, which would be ridiculous. Hmm. I really wish there was, see, I wish there was a good way on digital gardens and the things that we dig about websites that just throws it where's that python snippets to make the computer computer dance 
Oh, I did it in the same one. Uh, let's do it over here so we can see the contrast. That's not awful. And like, it would kind of break it up a little bit, seeing some differences. So what's here? Let's do a couple things. One last thing here. So on digital gardens and the things we think about websites, daily chapters. That's completely wrong, but whatever. Um, oh, and of course, they're all. Yeah, if most of them are. I'm not angry at this. And what I could actually do is Whoops. Ooh. No. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, you know what would be cool? How would you do this? I gotta stop doing that. I don't think this is gonna work at all, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Um, so one, I just want to look at this again. Yeah, but so what if we... What if we reverse this? All right, this will be the last one. I'm excited about this. Okay, so let me get this straight in my head. Um, ah, bummer. I was gonna make rows. And then push them down, like, and then, so like you, you have one row and then you bottom align it. Um. Well, I guess what you could do See that one needs to stick up. So this needs to not be a thing. I definitely think I just edited the wrong one. No, I'm on the wrong thing. But if we did this, so... Nope. It's a good guess. Text, not test. Text the line. Pretty 
vertical line. Baseline. Oh, wait. Of an inline or why didn't that work? Text align, but that's left center justify. Line height. Fix line heights. Letter spacing, font, font weight, font style, font smoothing, size, family. You gotta put it in a span? inline block well, let's try this ah you and your quotes Come on. We gotta be able to do it. We've been able to do everything else. So it's setting the height of it. Whoops. Let's get off of that so we can find a line here. Box alignment, the line content. Nope. Line items. Grid items are positioned on a container's cross axis. No way. Did not think so. Uh, align self. Nope. Place content. Place items. Line content. And that just, we're just on. Text align. Vertical line C. Oh, wait. Align text. Did we find it? Nope. Oh, there's gotta be a way to do this. See, I'm trying to push the text down so that the grid lines are all at the same location, but the headlines go up however much they go up. And I guess you could do that Like this seems a little overkill, but if it gets us there, it gets us there. Oh, come on. So think about this. 
Text line bottom. Let's see if this at least works. I have completely lost the thread. Nope. Come on. All right, there's got to be a way to do this. I mean, worst case, I just put a bunch of breaks up above it. Um, It's gotta work. One of these has to work. Bold border bottom. Okay, so it's nothing crazy going on there. content whatever text align left center vertical line that's what we're just on I'm just clicking on these to get out of uh, thing align content background position object position how I replaced yeah I still don't know what that is position. What is this for? Controlling the placement of positioned elements. Oh, absolute. Class absolute. Bah, 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 bah. Visibility. List style position. Background position. How? There's got to be a way to do this. I mean, hack it. Right, so it's funny that it completes that. First one, we'd only want to do two. And you'd mush the, um, mush the margin down. I mean, as long as they were all, oh, wait, this is going to, no, they would all need to be the same, but th this will work for now. Oh, no, but then, yeah, no, you still have to have the space because you got to figure out. Ah, so you can't really easily hack this. I mean, there was probably a way, but. So this is what I'm looking for. Actually, let, let me look at it and see if I even like it. Why don't that one go down? Uh, Hello? Yeah, why don't that go down? Is 
This one throws it. Let me take that out for a minute. Oh, took too much off. Uh, and let me look at this one. Also, I figured out why the Django one didn't work, because it needed an extra one, because it was only one line long. I don't think so. Ah, it's worth an experiment. Alright, so on nine, let me just look and see what some of these are going to look like if we flip them. Well, and of course, if I'm hand doing these, I can edit the title down and have them fit, right? Yeah, okay, that's cool. I like this one. I think it's gonna be it. I gotta figure out how to make Tailwind not be giant, but, um, cause how big is that file? Oh, there it was, that was it. 3.9 meg. Yeah, I don't need all that. Um. Oh, it's a bummer. Now I gotta figure out how to do that. Oh well, that'll be another stream, I guess. Um Yeah, this is kinda cool. I like this. I'll just have to figure out if I wanna do like one more round, right? Like how and I'll I'll play around with this, right? This will be part of the part of the garden thing, right? I have a feeling I'm actually gonna hand code a bunch of this stuff to start with. Uh, I think I just did the same one like three times in a row, and then this one again, whatever. Put that in the right place. No idea. See, it's different when it's that much. But maybe, uh, but yeah, you know, who knows? Maybe if you do a bunch of it. Play around with it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, with this, it makes me think you'd want to have, like, section type headers. I don't know, I, I'm kind of all over the place on this, but like, that's part of it, right? Just kind of mess around with something, see how it goes. Um, and then also, let me see, how, what's the break point for... Yeah, it's only three wide on a 13 inch monitor. Which actually looks pretty good. Oh, and I, what size am I at? No, it's gonna be four wide, probably. I don't know, font sizes don't mean anything anymore. That didn't change. What happened? 100. Was oh, that really the size of it? No. Wait, what? I guess that's the size. Yeah, so that's... That's what it would look like. thing. So Django snippets. Let's see if we can find that one. What if we replace some of these with nothing? I'm just wondering if there's like a pattern that would like ease it up a little bit or whatever. Probably just more spacing get you there. Gap. Seven. Whoops. Seven. What does 10 look like? I just want to see a big jump so I can make sure I see. Oh, that's not awful. Ten was better. How about eleven? Yeah, that spacing helps a lot. And it makes the difference of the lines not as bad. Like just because they're not as close to each other. Font size looks a little small. Again, that's probably because I stare at the giant ones all the time. It's a little crazy. Oh, it doesn't collapse to one. Wait a minute. I thought if you... Uh... If you closed it far enough, it collapsed into one. It does. Okay. Safari just wasn't let me close the tab that much or consolidate that much. And then the last thing I want to do is I'll put some type of border around it. 
Oh, you can add borders to these a little bit. That would be super cool. That would be super cool. Box shadow. It's there, but you can just barely see it. Let's try MD, even though we should just get a shadow and see what the base level looks like that they've got. All right, we need some padding on that. MD. That's pretty good. What does that look like on if we've got two of them with different? I think I put that in the wrong place. I did. I know that space doesn't matter, but. So we need P2. I really like this. this right here Yeah, those lines don't bother me nearly as much. Well, they actually bother me a little more now. So what if we take those out? And you know what you could do? I solved it. I solved it right now. We take this and put it here. I think that's gonna work. It's a little bit weird. When one drops out. You could boop it so that the main one stays up and the other ones collapse down, collapse down.
to bring this back to nine. No, those cards are up there. And then background gray. That doesn't do anything. Am I on the right page? Nine, yes. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. That gives you the target. And then... I think I blew past background, didn't I? Backgrounds, attachment, clip, color. White, gray, 300. That's probably gonna be too much, but we'll see. That didn't work as I expected. Nor did that. Also, it is too much. So we're gonna go 200. 100, what's 100 look like? I guess we gotta move all these to white. This BG dash W H I T E place all. I don't know why it didn't do all the other ones. Probably because I said BR white instead of BG white. I'm pretty sure I've seen this exact design before. <laughs> so this we want to have P top 10. Eight. Whoops. Six. Rounded corners is kind of a thing, but like, I don't know if I want that or not. I will definitely move around this. This, I'm really liking this. Uh, we need to move this. So what happens if we do this? change this to two and then margin top to three yeah 
here is where we can have the round of corners. So we need to add a little more margin. A little less border. Why didn't the padding stay there? I'm not angry at it. I do want a little bit though. Screen, max screen, margin auto. Oops. Oh yeah, that's how you get Why didn't... Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Because this needs padding. Is that right? Margin top, six. I think I'm really tired. PX6. That should have done it. Oh, see, I kind of like that. I don't know. I don't know what the real difference is there. Why isn't that padding sticking? inside. I'm looking for margin. Except that did, oh, I also did the wrong thing. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh oh, I wasn't angry. That should be the margin on the div. Do border, what does that do? I can't tell. That's it. The margin should work here, I would think. It isn't though. Why is it working? MX auto. Oh, MX auto. So you'd have to wrap the whole thing in one more div. And then 
class equals px4. I don't know if that's going to work or not. There you go. I like it at the bigger level. It needs to be more at that level. I did it twice. But like when you get down there, it needs to bump out. lost it. Where is the border radius? Rounded XL and margin top. No. It does all that. Wow, this point five a thing. Maybe. I think that's going to do it. What happens though if we. I'm just going to keep playing with this forever. If it's not any different and it's just like hanging out there. that or not. It's got a little more space up there than I'd like. Whoops. Whoops. I am losing it. Grid six, four, there we go, five. What if we reverse that and did this is 200? That's what we did earlier. No, I think it was this, what we did earlier. But like, it's... Hmm. 
Hmm. That's not awful. Where is that? I'm not angry at that at all. Okay, one more. Just see what it looks like. I mean, if we're gonna go, keep going. Is there a blue tint to this? I can't actually tell. I think there might be. And shadow. So that's shadow MD. Let's see if shadow LG is a thing. Can't tell if that, that's a little too aggressive. Yeah. I think, let's just try a nine to see what it looks like. Yeah, that's too far back. 600 or seven? There's six, here's seven. I think 700 is gonna be it, but now that we've got that, we want just a little more here. I'm digging this. Can't tell if that's too close or not. It's not bad. That's not bad. That's kind of interesting too. That's really interesting. Just out of curiosity, I really got to pack it in here in a minute. Oops.
I think I like it better with the light. I don't think I like that as much. Oops, that was our one. That's probably too much. No, that's not bad. Do all right. I gotta go. I really gotta go. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Trick is I'm gonna have to make a whole bunch more content to kind of fill all these descriptions of things. Um, I guess maybe I could just put in the first con the first thing. Um, That's not enough. It's gotta it's gotta have a punch or not be there. See, that's not awful, just sitting there. I think that's gonna be it. There's one other thing I wanna do. Uh, actually, here, we're gonna save that. I'm gonna make 11. Last one. Lucky number 11. Rounded. Right. Rounded. Top. Right. XL. So yeah, a couple of these look. They look like nothing. Why did that work? Oh, come on. That was the last thing I wanted to see. Order radius of an element. Rounded, top right. If we just do rounded, does that show up? I'm on the right thing, right? I'm probably not on the right file. 
Yeah, right file. That's in there. Oh, top right. Oh, actually, top right isn't awful. Rounded. These should all be rounded. Top left, 2XL. That is in the wrong place. That should be here. I uh, definitely like it on the right better. Yeah, so I need to do a little more spacing stuff in here. I may leave those rounded. What does it look like on the second level? That's what I need to see. I'm just gonna double up on some of them, but I think it'll be okay. I'll leave it, but that's not what I'm liking. Here's where it doubled. All right. I want to keep playing with that. Like, that's, this is cool. It's been a while since I've, like, messed around with this kind of stuff and really enjoyed it like this. Um, so I'm excited about this. Let's go back to 9 and just look at it. The beauty. The simplicity. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Oh! I've got all those note cards that I did. I could put up some note cards. That's cool. Okay. That's another neat thing. Yeah, this whole, this whole thing has got me excited. Like, doing stuff again. That's really cool. I'm excited about this. I'm just sitting here looking at it like, ooh, ooh, I like it. One more thing. If we do P1, what does that give us in Hello World? Okay. Nothing. P2? Nothing. Maybe if we do it here. Oh, P2's already up here. Uh, now I'm confused. <coughs> Probably because I'm on the wrong one. Nine. Nine. sudden I think it's okay this just got longer than I'd want to have so I'd probably cut that down a little bit yeah and I guess that's another cool thing about this is yeah I see that's better Yeah, and like this is fine. Like I don't this doesn't bug me at all that this is three lines and that's one. Like I'd prefer to make this two. 
So like we would edit that and we would remove that and see if maybe, there we go. Yeah, and like you could do all kinds of stuff like click randomize or whatever and just make it like this neat. Nobody goes to websites anymore, but like if maybe if enough of us make cool stuff, people will. Um Yeah, this is cool. I'm already thinking about some ways to do this stuff. Um so, slick. All right. I have to leave now. So, y'all have a good one. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.